Absolutely. And now uh, also the Bahamas trip coming up as Indiana leaves uh, next week to go down to play some hoops. Yeah, we're 10 days away from Indiana basketball actually taking the floor against a, uh, a, a new and foreign opponent. So can't wait to see the reports that come out. Uh, understand there's going to be significantly limited uh, video. Uh, I was talking to Zach last week and we cut our, our latest Mind Your Banners. He said they are capping video at two minutes, Yes, uh, which is, you know, the, the fan of me says it's a little bit ridiculous. The strategist in me tells me that um, this staff is probably very concerned about unnecessarily putting putting film down for, uh, for opponents to study, uh, to break down what they're trying to do. So, uh, you know, there's, again, I'm, little frustrated we don't get to watch but you got to tip your cap to the uh the tactics already being employed uh by this staff and keeping everything under wraps only available for the uh the fortunate few who are able to attend in person yeah trust me uh i know all about that uh footing the bill for that <laughs> so <laughs> and i can tell you how much per minute that is cost that video is costing <laughs> so i'll tell you what man that's, that's your fault though you got somebody going there to write you need to be like the court reporters and you need somebody that can sketch really fast there you go <laughs> kind of like that <laughs> old aha video you can just draw there's no and then, we can, be, then you can make a cart make a cartoon out of it mm -hmm. there you go like some animation perfect uh what's coming up next uh, for you b town is about wrapping up their summer it's not wrapping up the summer but we're in august school's coming back so summer is not by temperature wise but summer itself is starting to wrap up um and that changes the mindset of people what's going on what their focus is around here yeah this is the time of year where uh monroe county school corporation really draws my ire to be honest with you we uh community school starts here on wednesday my kids are staring down the last true day of summer for them before school starts in earnest tomorrow. And uh, just really unfortunate. I understand the reasons why with the uh, state mandates and the calendar they have to put together. But, uh, you know, mourning the loss of what was previously kind of that, that two-week window or so where you kind of had your last hurrah. Uh, it was always the deadest time in town. It was always that, that opportunity we had to whether it's take one last trip or, you know, go plan some some fun activities during the day so you could really soak up the last moments of summer before it started. But alas, uh, community school starts tomorrow. So for at least for my household, summer is officially over this evening um, before everybody returns to campus. But you're already seeing signs of life. You know, there's uh, U-Hauls bustling all over. Um, Target starting to look like a war zone. Uh, grocery store doesn't have anything. So the rhythms of the season, if you will, here in Bloomington, we are officially in turnover season. Uh, and for all the inconveniences it brings, that just means fall sports are imminently upon us. So cannot looks, wait for that. Looks like masks are coming back too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's going to be a real fascinating thing here. Uh, the Board of Health is meeting today. County commissioners meet tomorrow. It's widely anticipated that the mask mandate is coming back to Monroe County for all indoor spaces. Uh, we are likely moving into the orange phase of the COVID color chart. So uh, it's unfortunate that we're, uh, we're kind of regressing right now. Hopefully uh, folks take precautions and follow the advice and, and let's help quash this, this last resurgence. And hopefully it's the last wave we have to deal with here. Um, but you know, this is, this is the product of the consequences of our choices. And, uh, you know, we, we continue to have a heightened community spread. And let's just hope that we're able to uh, to manage it effectively uh, while minimizing, you know, illness and death and and not jeopardizing the uh, the return to normalcy that everybody's been promised, particularly as it relates to, to campus life and, uh, you know, athletics at IU. Uh, a little soccer news. Uh, Blooming Indiana head men's soccer coach Todd Jagley announced the elevation of Kevin Robson to associate head coach today uh kevin's new role spotlights his important contributions to the soccer program said yegley his engaging personality tremendous work rate and eye for talent has played a big part in our success on and off the field so there's a it's kind of a big deal associate head coach yeah shout out to roby he uh he stepped in when mays moved out actually he came in before mays was gone but assumed that role uh both on the sidelines as well as on the recruiting trail and has just done an absolutely bang up job. 
uh, in, in helping eggs build uh, just a perennially dominant program here at IU. Um, so kudos to him. Hopefully that comes with a hefty pay raise. Uh, looking forward as much as anything to getting back at Armstrong and seeing a team that's returning pretty much everybody for the most part. Um, they, they, should, they look to be very dangerous once again this year, which is par for the course for Indiana soccer. But uh, it's going to be a big year for those guys as well. I can't wait to get back on the sidelines and check them out. Chris, um, it's going back to the Bahamas game, says that the games in the Bahamas are not win or lose, but where the players are, the game plans, and what needs to be worked on. Yeah, that's uh, kind of what the Chronic was talking about, but that's, to me, the reason why there is no TV or radio, Kevin. Uh, like Chronic said, I don't think they want anything getting out because they want to see what they have right now against other competition. Yeah, and uh, I think the value of just you know being on the court, just the practices, just the fact that you're going to be able to establish a little bit of chemistry uh, before you really kind of get into it uh, in the fall and October uh, will be invaluable. I think it'll be important to good for a new coaching staff. Uh, you know, expectations will be set and uh, they'll be able to, uh, you know, maybe get a little jump on some of the concepts of what they're going to try to do uh, both uh, offensively and, and defensively because uh, it will be a shift from, uh, you know, uh, what they did under Archie, you know, probably a lot more uh, spread out offensively, uh, certainly, uh, you know, the four and one and, you know, having guys that, uh, you know, can shoot a little bit on the perimeter as well uh, is something that's going to be, uh, I think Indiana fans are going to be welcome to see, but you got to knock down those shots too. You got to find guys that can knock down those shots. 